Hello, I'm Quentin Somfield. I'm the head of the Department of Psychology here at the University of York. It's a friendly department. Um, we're friendly perhaps because we're all in one place. We've got our own buildings, all your teaching takes place in those buildings. It's a beautiful campus, um, everything's on one site. There's lots and lots of really um, good facilities to use um, and I think it's a very well balanced course. There's an ethos of excellence. We look after our students really well. We want them to succeed while they're here with us in York and we do our best to ensure that they go on to rewarding and engaging careers when they leave. I think York's really interesting as a department. Um, one, it's got some incredibly eminent um, psychologists uh, as members of staff. The people that you get to work with here um, are world leading in their areas. So we have people here who literally wrote the textbooks that you read when you're at school. Um, I'm Katie Slocum and my research area is chimpanzee communication and I study this to try and understand how human language might have evolved. I'm Steve Tipper and my research focuses on perception, action and emotion. I'm Daniel Baker and I'm interested in low-level visual perception. My name is Lisa Henderson. Um, my research looks at how children acquire new language and how the mechanisms of word learning change from childhood to, to adulthood. So I'm Gareth Gaskell. I work on language perception, uh, sleep, memory, memory consolidation and combinations of the above. I'm Harry Dover and I do research into cultural transmission. I do research on hearing and deafness. I'm Shirley Ann Rushemeyer and I'm interested in understanding how people understand language, both cognitively and on the neural level. My name is Peter Thompson and I research visual perception, aspects of how we see the world. My name's Alex Wade and I'm uh, primarily interested in human vision, uh, low-level visual processes including colour vision and how we see contrast and shape. If you're at a university where um, the staff have got a wide range of research interests, that feeds into your teaching. So you'll be taught by people who are experts in that particular field. And certainly I find that when I'm teaching stuff that I've done research on, it's much, much more easy and I hope I'm more enthusiastic and clear. I always try to incorporate my research into teaching and wherever I can, I make links to relevant recent findings and try and tell students about what we're doing in the lab and, uh, and what our most interesting results have been. In the first two years of the course, it's very broad. Psychology is a broad subject, ranging all the way from social psychology through to neuroscience. And so we start you very gradually, um, but we, we build things up. And so by the time you leave, um, you can ask a research question, you know how to design the study, you can collect the data, you can analyse it, and you can write it up. The course can be accredited by the British Psychological Society as a as a proper degree in psychology. During the degree, they will be involved in projects with people like me and they will be doing original research. So you'll have a choice of what advanced modules you do. You will have a choice about your undergraduate project. They'll be doing experiments and finding answers to things that nobody has ever seen before, ever. So it's all a new discovery, certainly in third year projects. Well, most of our third years run original research projects um, which often are part of ongoing research within the departments that their supervisor is involved in. And I think being in such close proximity to such great research is just very exciting for the students. It, it motivates them and enthuses them about you know, science and they get the chance to do all sorts of very cool projects they wouldn't do elsewhere. The opportunities that we've had have been amazing, yeah. and especially third year projects, working with Tim, actually using fMRI as an expert, yeah, as an undergrad, it was amazing, yeah, and it's prompted me to come back to see the Masters. Well, yeah, I was amazed that we did like such a wide range of things, like yeah. things I wouldn't even thought about, topics such as like hearing and vision, yeah. I didn't really think of it to be as psychology related, no, but I did find that really interesting, Then we did more of the traditional abnormal things which people think of when they think of psychology. I think psychology is an excellent topic to study because it's so broad. So it's actually a very good platform for going in many different directions. Well, I think psychology gives you a fantastic um, opportunity to engage in a huge number of different careers. Uh, the skill set that you have from psychology is a unique balance between arts and sciences. Um, and I think also it gives you a really uh, a good understanding of people, how people behave, and that is needed in all kinds of workplaces. Many students of psychology end up working in statistics offices, in banks, in consulting agencies, they go on to study medicine, etc, etc. So it's an excellent, general, broad topic of study from which you can go on to do many different things. Whatever you're interested in, you can find something to do. I'm, I'm interested in math and physics and sort of low-level things and I have a nice home here. It's like a big happy family. 
we are very approachable. You can knock on anyone's door and they will be pleased to see you at any time. Well, we're really fortunate in psychology in having our own building. It houses our laboratories, our offices, our lecture theatre and our seminar rooms. We have a world-leading uh, neuroimaging facility which has uh, an fMRI scanner, it has MEG scanner, all kinds of other fantastic facilities uh, which are all used by members of the department and indeed can be used by uh, students in their final year projects. What that means is that if you come here you'll be taught under one roof and our building is going to be your academic home throughout your time in York. I'm the person who's going to read your UCAS form so if you have any questions about the course that you want answered then don't hesitate to get in touch, email us and we will reply to you.